I'm here with one of the four female finalists for the BLG Awards for the U Sports Student Athlete of the Year. I'm here with Tamitope Ogunjimi from the University of Calgary, and she is both a rugby player and wrestler, and she is from the hometown of Calgary, Alberta. How's it going, Tammy? Going well, thank you. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so over the 25-year history of the BLG Awards, neither a wrestler nor a rugby player have ever captured the award, male or female. So as a nominee this year, what would it mean for you to win and make history in the process, especially as an aspiring lawyer? Uh, I, I think it, it's awesome because sports like wrestling and rugby, they really grow on recognition uh, in order to have to get more people, more athletes into the sports, especially from, a, from lower levels, from the high schools and junior highs. So I think uh, for rugby and wrestling, it's great recognition. And uh, I think people will see this and be like, oh, we should put our kids in wrestling. We should put our kids in rugby or we should try wrestling or we should try rugby. So and uh, as an aspiring lawyer, this is just awesome for me because this is uh, 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 the the BGL is just the sorry, the BLG is just uh, it's awesome because there's uh, hopefully going to be supporting a future lawyer. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Money well spent. <laughs> Exactly. Perfect. So as a dyno, not only have you had tremendous success as a wrestler, but on the rugby field as well. So how has wrestling experiences allowed you to thrive in rugby and, and vice versa? I think that for both sports, they're kind of like uh, cross-training for each other. Uh, the things that I learned in wrestling, for example, like wrestling moves like the double leg or the single leg, they transfer over for me with rugby because I, it helps me with my, my tackle technique. So I'm able to efficiently tackle people on the field and get right back up because I'm used to it in wrestling. And with rugby, it helps me with my explosiveness, my speed, my power, which just translates to wrestling where I can just be fast and quick with my wrestling moves. So, yeah. That's awesome. So you grew up in Nigeria before moving to Canada at age 10. So how did participating in sport help you adjust to living in a new country? Uh, growing up back home in Nigeria, it, sports was a way of bonding with family, friends. Yeah. Um, I remember every day after school, my brother, my sister, and my cousins and I would be playing soccer in my grandma's compound after school. And for us, that was like, oh, that was a way of bonding. And at school, we had phys ed, but we, in our individual classes, we had the individual sports that we were playing. It was mostly track and field, but... In there, I was able to realize that you know I'm connecting. I'm connecting with people through sports, and so when I moved here, obviously losing those connections back home, the only way for me, the only way I thought of building back a connection and relationship with people in the community was through sports. So yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And you're currently the head coach of the wrestling team and an assistant uh, rugby coach at Father Lacombe High School in Calgary. So how has coaching young players contributed to fuel your passion for, for both the sports? Oh man, when I go to rugby practices, the girls are just, they're always so happy to be there. They're happy to see me. They're happy to be able to have the opportunity to not, to not just, you know, have nothing to do with their time or just be focused on taking care of their siblings or going home and doing household chores. Um, so when I see that on their face, it like brings me back a little bit to when, yeah. I, was a, when I was younger to realize the passion that I had for rugby. They love the game and they love to learn. And seeing that in their eyes and in their faces and their smiles, it's like, oh man, yeah, I love this too. Yeah, and, uh, it must bring you back. Being, sorry? sorry, it must bring you back and kind of remind you like this is why I fell in love with the sport. <laughs> Every day, even when we have games. Um, they, they, we had one last night, the, the girls, they, they played, played their, their hardest. hardest. They, they lost by a couple of tries, but, but they, were they were all still smiling. smiling. They were, they were, they were together, together as a team. team. They were helping, helping each other, bringing each other up. And yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's like, that brought me back to every reason why I wanted to join, join a team and play sports. sports. So yeah, yeah and I see the same thing with my wrestlers. It was, although wrestling is an individual sport, when we were practicing, they were all together. They were all making sure that each other had the move down right or each other had each other's backs. And if they saw something while I was helping someone else, they were helping each other. So it was just, it was perfect. It was like, that's exactly why I love sports. It's a community. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So over the course of your tenure at the University of Calgary, you visited Barbados to teach kids how to play rugby and have worked as a big brother, big sisters mentor. So why do you feel it's important to give back to underprivileged youth? Um, I'm, I'm a true believer of, like, like, no one, no can, one can do it on their own, own. and yeah. uh, as much as, as if I'm at an elite level, level over here and, here and there's someone below, just below, I, 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 I'm a true believer that, you know, you have to work together to make sure everyone comes up together. Um, there's no point in being up, <laughs> up there by yourself if there's no one to follow, um, and it's a good outlook. I think... The underprivileged, the underprivileged youth, youth it's, it's just, it's very important for them to, for them know, that to know that there is something, something outside, outside of their, reality, their realities, that there, that there is more to just their just struggles. Their struggles. Like they, can like they can join a, join a, a sports, sports team, team and create a community and, and thus creating a better life for themselves. Or, or even if it's just creating, creating friendships, relationships that can help them in their hard times because they all know the struggle that they feel. So, yeah, I think that Sports is, sports is one of the major ways to definitely help, definitely help underprivileged youth. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, Tammy. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today, and we got to know you a little better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very so much. So you're welcome. Enjoy the awards. All the best to you, um, and have a safe trip to Vancouver. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> See, See you. Soon. Bye.